Hi Virgo, what's up? This is your reading, um, bonus reading for the month of February. I'm Tyler J. Santis. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, so let's see what energies we have for the bonus reading in February. And happy Valentine's Day. Today is Valentine's Day while I record this. So this is my present to you guys. <laughs> so what do we have for Virgo for February? Ah, the lovers. So this flew back and flew backwards actually like this. It flew right in front of me. So is there a love that you're taking for granted this Valentine's Day? Is it a love that you should be paying more attention to? Is it a love that you're denying yourself? Is it a love that um, you need to give to yourself? Is it a love that you need to give to others? What can you do, Virgo? Ooh. So, at least, so we have the strength card. So... Where can you tame your ego? Where can you put this beast inside of you that needs to be put to rest? And it could be, it's obviously something in your mind. What ideas are old and worn out and need to die now? What things um, can you do to get over these? How do you, with the strength card, she tames the lion by being nice, by being soft, by using her feminine energy and kindness to get what she wants instead of a harsh tongue or mean words. And we all know that like, in the word word literally can be rearranged to make sword or you find the word word in swords. So um, your tongue is a powerful weapon and Virgos tend to use that very well. And we're very petty. I'm a Virgo too, but we're pretty harsh. So where can we soften our words and soften up to be kinder to the people that we love and be kinder to the people around us? A lot of the time we bite our tongue, not bite our tongues, but bite it afterwards. Like shove our foot in our mouth like, damn, why did I say that? Damn, like I need to control this thing that's in my face. Ooh. But the Knight of Pentacles says, you've been working on something slow and steadily. Um, it's that turtle energy. The turtle never gets there fast, but he's very consistent. He's very, he will eventually get to his destination. So this could be with, this could be with your relationship. I'm feeling it's like a relationship. You have to be if you're slow and steady with it and don't put so much pressure and so much mm, like heaviness on it, you'll eventually get to where you want to be with it. You'll eventually, um, oh, page of swords. So this might not be, this is like your mind, your uh, ideas. You, you're ready to battle something but you haven't used your sword yet so the uh with the knight of pentacles being right before it this could be with um your job like maybe it's making a career change maybe it's making a change of relationships maybe it's um but something that you've been working towards slow and steadily and now you're ready to use these skills or use these ideas or use these things for something new okay so we're letting go of the old way of thinking and moving forward in this energy of new opportunities clarity oh. and the hierophant popped backwards right into my deck so the hierophant says that you're supposed to be a leader right now you're supposed to be somebody in charge you're supposed to be using your sword to protect and um to protect people so be careful with how you're talking to people is what i'm feeling be careful how you talk to people at work or 
people you're around, your friends, but you're the leader normally. You're oops, in the chariot. So the chariot is like about merging two opposite parts of something. It could be two parts of yourself. It could be merging um, two different groups of people. If you're putting it with this higher fit energy to um, do something good, do something um, that's going to reap benefits. It's, um, the chariot also too is about having confidence in yourself, having the strength to um, I guess it's like a lot of us forget our confidence and we are living in fear. And the chariot is about going forward and knowing that you have the divine will of heaven. You have this divine protection around you that will confidently, um, that will give you confidence to move forward and be this leader to turn this hierophant energy from upside down back around so that you can be the person that you're supposed to be. So the page of wands is saying like, you need to start. You need to stop letting your mind make you feel like you're left out in the cold. Like you've been battling for a while now and you've been fucking having these inner demons and trying to decide what's right and wrong. And the answers have always been in yourself. <laughs> These all popped at once, by the way. But the answer lies within yourself, and that's what these last two cards, all of them are upside down, except starting this journey, which is the Page of Wands. And then it went from the Page of Wands to the King of Swords, which is about your mind, which is about being somebody who is just and fair to this, but it's reversed. So that's confusion and disarray. Um, to this Five of Pentacles, which is being not having enough money, not having enough resources, feeling left out in the cold, being at a loss, which is like the seven of um, wands is they're battling or like being in this energy of like having to protect what is yours, feeling like people are out to get you, kind of knowing um, with it being reversed. And then justice is also too reversed. So there's being a lack of justice. Where are you lacking in justice? Where are you lacking in balance? Where are you lacking? Is your heart laying up to the truth of the matter? Are you looking at everything through clear eyes and it's this these two pop to say like listen the answer is always within yourself the hermit card is your card Virgo and the ten of cups is saying like happiness is there there is a rainbow there is love here for you the answer and the, has always been within you you've been carrying the light all along you are the light bearer you are the answer so Go ahead and start that journey with persistence and learn how to swing your sword. I'm going to pull just a couple more just to see what else we have for you, Virgo. So, what final message do we have for Virgo for the Valentine's Day end of February reading? What last message do we have for Virgo? Oh, it's popped like this. Okay, let's put those at the bottom. So we have judgment. So this is calling you to look at yourself clearly, to take an evaluation of your life, to take an evaluation of self, to see what changes need to be brought forth um, for you to celebrate in this Ten of Cups energy, to be emotionally fulfilled. And this Six of Pentacles being upside down, definitely, definitely a imbalance with the work, money, physical things, maybe something is definitely going on with the physical, with the physical. So you also had justice reversed. So there's an imbalance going on here. But know that destiny is in your own hands. Your destiny is up to you. It's your choice. It is your responsibility. And 
your obligation and you need to put yourself first. You need to look clearly at yourself first. Virgos have a tendency of looking at others and judging others before they judge themselves. I'm not saying all, but some. Um, and we need to really look at ourselves first and know that we are fully accepting ourselves and fully understanding our flaws and problems before we try to come at anybody else and knowing that when we do approach people about things, because we tend to see other people at their best, at their best, we tend to see them almost more than they see themselves. I, there's this analogy that's like, um, why do you keep, why do you want to take this person to Ruth Chris when they only want a McDonald's? They're not going to appreciate it. Sometimes Virgos say too much. We try to do too much for people when you could have saved yourself $100 on a steak and got McDonald's and this person would have been just as happy. Like, people remember things. Like, if you're going to do something for somebody, don't do something that you think that they want. Ask them what they want, and the people will remember that a hundred times more than if you just imposed something. And people have fragile egos. So if you're going to do something for somebody, don't do it so you can say it. Don't do it so you can say, oh, I did this for you. Do it out of the kindness and love of your heart. Do it in a way where somebody's ego won't be damaged. Do it in a way that's out of pure love. And I think that's really what this reading is calling for, knowing how to control your ego knowing what steps you need to take and how you need to control whatever is going on in your life to, um, but the answers are inside you. The answers are inside self. So last card, we're going to pull one more. Ooh, two of wands. So this guy is holding the world in his hands. Okay. So He's got the whole world in his hands, but there's something he's missing. He still wants more, but it's not necessarily like, it's not necessarily something physical. Wands are about our desires. They're about our passions. So what thing in yourself do you still need to go get? What thing that is for you and only you do you need to go after it now um, more than ever? And that's why the first card that popped was the lovers with the strength. So this could be you. It could be yourself. Like, what things do you need to do? Do you need to put this relationship aside with other people and tame this beast, whether it be mind or ego or whatever that's inside of you and realize what truly matters, realize what what's really, really, really going to get to the core of your issue and let you let go of all these expectations and let go of all this bullshit so you can be fully in your power and fully in who you are. So, <laughs> okay, Virgo, that's your reading. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Love you guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment. And for personal readings, check out my website, tylerdaysantis.com. Uh, <laughs> Bye.